guys, it's your boy Will back with another video today. Hope you guys are doing good. In this video, I'll be talking about three stocks that can explode tomorrow. Now, I will be doing options and shares, okay? So I'll be doing both on some of these stocks. So just make sure you pay attention to the ones that I'll be doing those on. I'll be giving you guys buying levels where I'm looking to buy, resistance levels where I'm looking to sell, and support levels where I'm looking for price to hold, okay? Now, Make sure you guys smash the like button. Let's try to get the video over 200 likes. Subscribe. Turn your post notifications so you don't miss any updates. And always, always, always share the video out to your friends and family so we can spread that knowledge. Now, before we start, I want you guys to comment down below what stocks you guys are in, what stocks you guys are looking at. And I'll try to have those videos up before the market opens tomorrow. Okay. So kind of help you guys out a little bit more on the stocks you guys are in. Okay. So make sure you comment below the stocks you guys are playing and the stocks you guys are in. And then also check out the videos before this one. A lot of key stuff on those, and we'll get into it. So the first talk we'll be talking about today is Robin Hood, ticker symbol H-O-O-D, ticker symbol H-O-O-D. Okay, they recently had a nice little drop right after earnings, okay? Now the thing about this is, it's like a reversal play, but it can also go lower. So right now, I'm looking to play it quickly. I'm not looking to hold too long. And it already showing buying pressure, right? And it's kind of around the same price after hours too, so not really any big difference. The only way this one will work is if we get pullback tomorrow. If it continues to go higher, that's kind of already taking the play, okay? So we need pullback tomorrow for the play to be active. So levels I'm looking at. Exit level I'm looking at is around like 40. I kind of have two levels that I kind of want to um, take some profits on. I would say the first level is 39. So let me just drag it out here. 39, where is it? Right here is the first one. And then around 41 will be the second one. So we'll 40. Let me type that. So I have two exits on this one. I actually like could a lot. It's very user friendly. I feel like all the beginners, even the intermediate ones use hood. So I do want to invest in it. I don't own any shares. I own shares, but I sold that for a profit because I didn't see any strength of it. And then, well, of course, we had that pullback, okay? Now, Kathy Wood has been buying the stock a lot uh, at these low prices. So I'll probably look more into that. But for right now, we'll just be looking to play it quickly. And I will be doing options on this one, okay? So two exits. For entry, I want it to at least come back to 36. So only need a dollar move. It doesn't need to move too much. Where's 36 at? So it doesn't need to move too much for us to actually get an entry. Okay. We just need that little pullback to around that 36 area. And I think we'll be good to go. We always make sure that buying pressure does confirm. Okay. You can better help you guys if you get the stock market options crash course. Will 50 off gives you fifty dollars off the stock market options crash course okay so make sure you join that it'll help you better trade in these markets now first exit around 39 about eight percent i'll be taking off around half here for the shares and then the other half around 41 for about a 13 14 percent scout play okay that's what i'm doing for the shares for options i'll probably go out to the january contracts Probably get around this 45. See, I want this price to come down a little bit to around the 120s. Low, probably like between 120 to the one teens. So I think it's a little high right now. I want the premium to kind of come down. But this probably will be the contract I get. 45 strike price. Looking to pay about 120 for it. And then for the exit of the contracts, I'll be exiting at 39. Okay, so 39 will be for the contracts. So let me just make it orange right here, okay? So for shares, selling half, and for contracts, selling all, okay? So that's how I'm playing hood for tomorrow. But again, we need that pullback tomorrow for the levels to be active. Second stock, we talked about this stock a lot, and I had a lot of questions about it on as well, is Ocugen, ticker symbol O-C-G-N. Ticker symbol O-C-G-N. So we'll go over the old levels, why I didn't buy today, and then we'll go over the new levels as well. Okay, so Ocugen's India partnered COVID-19 vaccine gets WHO approval. 
Okay, so that's some of the news. Usually it's buy the rumor, sell the news. So once that news came out, we had that drop. Okay, so that's pretty much expected. We had that drop right after the news. So I wasn't um, I wasn't too shocked by that. Okay, so let's kind of zoom in. Again, this is Ocugen, ticker symbol OCGN. Tell you why I didn't buy today. Okay, we had a resistance level. Open above it, came down. One resistance, two resistance. Okay, you can see that clear as day. That's why I say never miss a video. So that's already bearish. Okay, that's one reason I didn't buy it. Next reason, I was watching the buying level when it came down. Came down a little bit, little buying pressure. You watch it closely. Came down again, a little buying pressure. Didn't give an entry, right? More bearish. Now look what happened. What do I always tell you guys about this resistance level? Resistance level came, one resistance, two resistance, three resistance, that's bearish, okay? Then you see, boom, fell afterwards, okay? That's why I did not buy it. So let's go ahead and clear the chart. We'll put all new levels on here that I'll be looking for. And it is down after hours too. It closed around 12.73 and it's around $12 after hours. So new levels I'm kind of looking out for now. I kind of wanted to get down to around 11. So I actually want some more pullback. Okay, 11, I feel more comfortable actually buying the shares. So let's put that around 11. We'll turn it green. So this is where I feel more comfortable actually uh, starting to buy shares for Ocugen around that 11. I actually think I will go heavier as well. And then I'll be looking to exit around 13. 13 is right there. Okay, so from entry to exit, we're looking for about 18% gain. Okay, so very, very nice percentage gain. We just got to make sure we get that buying pressure around that $11 range. And we always wait for confirmation. We don't buy because the level's hit. Always wait for that confirmation. And the third stock which has been having a lot of good news lately, is Pfizer, ticker symbol PFE. Ticker symbol PFE. So I'll erase these. These are old levels from like over a month ago. Okay, so now we're in a 30 minute chart, 90 day. And Pfizer has been getting a lot of good news. I think they just had the, uh, the vaccine approved for kids. So they've been going up nicely. They had earnings too. They've been boosting up on earnings as well, and we're finally having a little pullback. Okay, you see that nice run right here? Finally having some pullback, which you need for consistent runs. So some levels I'm kind of looking at for Pfizer. First level as an exit, I kind of want to take it up to around 48. 48, I kind of want to, let me go a little bit. So around 48, I'm kind of wanting to exit up there. And I actually don't mind holding. Pfizer is actually a good company. But I do think as um, the COVID stuff wears off, they will be coming down. But until then, I'll be looking to play it. So around 48, I'm looking for an exit. And then for buying, I'm looking right around, I would say between 44 and 45. So kind of where it is now, okay? So 45, we'll put a level right here. And then we'll put a level, I would say 44.50, okay? So let's turn these green. This is the kind of area I'm looking at to buy. And on this one, I would be doing options as well. And I'll show you guys the options that I'm looking to get on Pfizer. Okay, so that's the area I'm looking to buy. So hopefully have an average around 45, I mean 44.75, somewhere average in there. So around 44.75, looking for a profit target of about 7% on the shares, which is okay, because I'm going to also do 50-50 with options, okay? So it'll kind of boost my profit up. And then the options, I'll do around January. And we'll do, I'll probably do this 46 contract. I want this down, I want this to come down below the 130s. Right now, the bid is around $135, so that'll be $135 for that contract. I want it below $130s, okay? So that's what I'm kind of looking out for, but that will be the contract I get, January 46, below $130s, and that's what I'm kind of looking for for Pfizer, and those are the main two levels, okay? So hope you guys enjoyed the video.
Make sure you get the stock market options crash course. Make sure you get the buy and sell signals. And also the buy and sell signals will be going up January 1st. So everybody knew after January 1st, the prices will be higher. If you get in before January 1st, the prices will be the same they are now. Okay. So if you guys enjoyed the video, always remember not to recommendation to buy or sell anything just for educational purposes only. So do not trade anything you see or hear in the video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.